Well, class, let's go down to our next uh, thing in our fillet function here. And we're going to go, um, we just covered uh, different shapes of the asymmetric, uh, basically symmetric, but then some of the asymmetric shapes now um, and the profiles that are associated with those. Let's go down the next thing below that is the setback parameters. Now this is a, a feature that in fillet allows you to take a corner. Um, it could be, you know, here we're just taking the simple, you know, three. It has to be three uh, faces or edges or features that come together. Um, but it could be more than that, three, four, five, six, seven. This could be like the uh, tip of, uh, you know, a multifaceted bunch of triangles coming together and one tip. <clears throat> this allows you to set back from that. I could say that uh, um, the point where all the edges come together, you can create a better um, fillet curve to go back to each of the edges. So, if I were to, I can select uh, all these first. Um, I'm going to go back to just asymmetric or symmetric um, circular to make it easier looking. Select my three edges. And then if I go down to here, setback parameters. I'm going to select, you know, if you look at the uh, little icon, you got to select the corner. So you select right there in the corner. And then it's going to give you now, all these little lines. You know, only one spot where it actually holds up pretty well. So um, with this, we got a vertex. You got these different setback uh, locations, E1, E2, E3. Um, I can either select here. It's going to tell you along this edge, or I can do this one, which is along this edge, or I can do this one, which is along this edge. So um, similar to uh, some of the other functions, you have two ways of doing this. Easiest way, if you're visual, just come up here, <clears throat> select which value you want this, this to be. Right now the regular uh, symmetric circular radius is set at 10, but let's say I wanted these top two lines, I want them to be well smoothed over. Let's make them 20. The first one. Let me see another one. And I'll make the top two edges. So this one, that one, and this one, 20. Let's say for some reason, I just wanted this one to be slightly different, 15. You can sl select them that way. And what this does, I, I always think of it as, uh, when you're looking at it from an angle, um, if you've ever like sanded, wood. You know, if this was a wood block and you were sanding it, you know, along the edges are easy. Um, you can pretty much, you know, sand a decent looking fillet all around all the edges. But then when you get to the corners, you put that sander on it on the edge. Um, it kind of buries it down a little bit more than you try to form it around the corner. So this is a way to smooth those corners out. And depending on maybe uh, you want, um, you know, the top to be a little more smooth uh, versus, you know, Every, uh, in this corner versus the vertical portion, you can, like I say, change the uh, the setbacks. Um, this works also pretty much with everything symmetric. Uh, I think all of the uh, profiles and uh, asymmetric. Oops. All the profiles also. So that is setback parameters on your fillet. Here's what it looks like with the uh, an, a uh, asymmetric uh, profile.